I'm Genevieve, and this is my assistant William. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> We're going to be showing you how to make an edible aquifer, show you the different layers within our aquifer system. First, we're going to have our crushed ice, which represents limestone. Next, we're going to use Sprite, which represents our water. Next, we're going to use sherbet ice cream to represent our topsoil. Then, we're going to use cocoa puffs to represent our unsaturated soil. After we use the unsaturated soil, we're going to go ahead and use crushed Oreos to represent our dirt. Next, we're going to add sprinkles to represent our grass and our organic matter that we have on Earth. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and show gummy bears in order to represent our wildlife. We're going to show our strawberry syrup to represent our pollutants. First, we're going to go ahead and show the limestone that's actually within the aquifer. It's going to be represented by this ice. Do you want to pour it inside the cup for me? Very good. Next, we're going to use a Sprite, which is with blue food coloring. This is going to show the water that's within the Edwards aquifer. You want to pour that one in for me, too? Oh, I didn't spell it. Oh, oh my gosh, cool. <laughs> Next, we're going to go ahead and use the sherbet ice cream to represent the topsoil. You want to go ahead and pour that one in on top? Oh. Ooh, cool. Awesome. Did it stop the bubbling? It did stop the bubbling. Next, we're going to go ahead and add the cocoa puffs in order to represent the unsaturated soil. Just put a little bit on there on top for me. A little, a little bit more. Perfect. Next, we're going to go ahead and add the crushed Oreos to represent the dirt that we walk on. Woo. And then we're going to go ahead and add the sprinkles in order to represent our organic map. And then we'll add our gummy bears to show all of our wildlife that we have. Yay! And then we do have to remember to keep our aquifer clean because pollutants can actually inhabit our aquifer. If they seep down far enough, can actually damage it. What's limestone? Limestone is right here, this rock. It has porous holes. So if pollutants seep within there, there's no way of getting them back out. How, why? because it becomes contaminated with our water, and so that's why we have to make sure our aquifer always stays clean. Hmm. Well, go ahead and try to extract water from our well. Go ahead and take a drink. That was even gooder than before. <laughs> mm. Happy, Happy National, National Groundwater, Groundwater Awareness this Week. week. <laughs> Follow us on social media, and you can find this lesson plan on our Pinterest.